also wealthy people can serve Hashem. So also if, if Hashem made you with a certain desire for wealth and for money, you don't need to drop that to throw yourself to the street, to say, no, I'm going to be homeless now. I'm going to dedicate my life to Hashem. You're not going to dedicate. Maximum, you're going to buy a beer in the 7-Eleven and then you're going to try to find another job. You're not going to make it. You need to understand why Hashem gave you that desire, even for money. Not to try to break that lust or that desire. When you try to break something, you find yourself with two. You're going to try to break yourself, to break your desires, you're going to find yourself struggling with new craziness, new foreign thoughts, new sadnesses, new confusions. For five years, I'm praying on my eyes, to guard my eyes, to be holy. And after five years of prayers, I can't find no holiness, no purity. And then you're going to lose your mind. What's happening with me? My prayers doesn't work. So many times I was praying, I was screaming, I was crying. As much as you work, the evil inclination, the Yetzirah is working against you. When you're fighting strong, he will fight strong with you. When you're climbing the steps, you're climbing the floors, you're he achieving the heights. Yetzirah is not afraid of heights. He doesn't have no problem to fight with you. Moshcheu Lebet HaMidrash, he's laughing. Oh, you want to learn Torah? Great. He's got so many rabbis working for him, you cannot imagine. He's got so many Talmidei Chachamim, geniuses, that they have the Torah in their mind, and they are trapped in the hands of the evil inclination. And you're going to come so naive and so simple. Yeah, I want to learn Torah. Welcome. Welcome, no problem, come. We're going to choke you, don't worry, with verses, with, with paragraphs. We're going to teach you so much Torah that you won't understand your wife, that you won't care about your parents, that you won't think about yourself. They're going to stop taking showers. You're going to stop brushing your teeth. You're going to stop taking care of yourself. You're going to be clumsy and confused and lost and poor. Don't worry, we're going to teach you a lot of Torah. The evil inclination is the biggest, biggest angel in the world. You cannot defeat him with simple advice, even not by learning Torah. He's inside the Torah. He's hiding inside the verses. You think that the verses that contains the word Bil'am, that contains the word Pharaoh, that contains the word golden calf, the verses that are describing the sins and the crimes and the, and the punishments, they're not holding, they're not serving certain power, not giving certain power to the evil inclination. And the Mishnah is saying that if a person purified himself, so then he will find from the Torah learning potion to heal himself, to revive himself. But if he didn't purify himself enough, Naset lo samavet. It becomes to be a poison that can be lethal and kill him, and not only him, him and his family and all of his beloved ones. Because the Yetzirah is dropping the world and fighting with Israel. And he's dropping all Israel and he's fighting with the wise ones that are learning Torah. And he's fighting with, uh, and he's dropping all of those ones that are, are, are learning Torah. And he's fighting the, mainly with those ones that are doing it bodeduyot and praying and holding in the level of tshuva and doing tshuva. So it's like a dead end. No matter where you're going to go, you have a huge enemy in front of your eyes that it's the angel of death, the evil inclination, himself, the biggest angel in heaven. What are you going to do? There is only one thing that you can do. Without the help of the Creator, you cannot defeat the evil inclination. No way. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.